The pilot of the Indigo airliner who filed an incident report about how the comedian Kunal Kamra heckled the journalist Arnav Goswami has told the management of his airline that he does not believe Mr. Kamra should have been summarily banned by the airline for a period of six months. I have this report and will be discussing this with our special guests in the next few moments. The details which NDTV has been able to access uh, indicates that the pilot in command of the Indigo airliner which was flying uh, Kunal Kamra, the journalist who got into an altercation or, or um, uh, he heckled the journalist uh, Ornob Goswami on this particular flight, that pilot in command has a question to the management of his airline. Why did you ban Kunal Kamra for six months? On the basis of what did you do that? Now he's written a letter uh, to the management of the airline. We have a copy of that letter. We've reached out to Indigo as well. They've not directly responded to us on whether or not they, uh, uh, you know, whether they're taking this letter into account or not. They're just saying that we, we're taking everything into account. We've reached out uh, to the DGCA as well. But let's just look at the letter firstly. The pilot says, Mr. Kamra's behavior while unsavory was not qualifying of a level one unruly passenger. A level one unruly passenger is somebody who engages in, in language which is unacceptable uh, or behavior which is unacceptable and carries with it a three-month ban. So the pilot says this was not even a level one uh, scenario. Secondly, remember it's six months that the airline tweeted that they've gone and banned Kunal Kamra for on the basis of what have they actually done that. The pilot says we as pilots can all attest to incidents similar and or worse in nature that were not deemed unruly. I was disheartened to learn that my airline has taken action in this case solely on the basis of social media posts. Am I to understand that the bar for interpretation of a disruptive passenger is lower or different when it comes to high profile cases? This is particularly important. Remember last year, Sadhvi Pragya, the MP, uh, was on a spice jet flight uh, when she refused to vacate an emergency exit even though she was told by the crew members uh, that as a, a wheelchair patient she couldn't sit in that chair. The flight was eventually delayed. She did ultimately move but she caused a great deal of inconvenience to passengers. What was the punishment? Nothing at all. What was the punishment of this man Kunal Kamra? Six months. But let's give you perhaps the worst incident. A Shiv Sena MP uh, a year or so, or so back slapped an Air India staffer repeatedly. What was the punishment given? A 14-day no-fly uh, list, no no-fly uh, permission, a ban for 14 days. A ban for 14 days for somebody who engaged in physical assault, a six-month ban for this comedian whose behavior, let's, let's be very clear, was absolutely obnoxious and unacceptable. The pilot says so as well. But the question is, where was the process? Uh, did Indigo follow that process, which quite clearly says that a committee needs to be set up? You cannot randomly go and ban somebody. Um, so what we have been able to get in terms of exclusive information on this story from our sources uh, in the Directorate General of Civil Aviation, the Aviation Watchdog, is that Indigo's tweet banning Kamra for six months is a nullity. It doesn't exist. It's wrong. It can't just happen like that. Secondly, RDGCA sources saying they're officially waiting for the pilot's letter, which they expect to be included in the dossier, or the, uh, which Indigo hands over to the, uh, to the regulator. And there could be action if this account or any account which is authentic of the pilot is missing from Indigo. So that's uh, what the, the regulator is looking at right now. There is a process. Bad behavior is unacceptable. But then how do you randomly go and ban some passengers and not ban others because they are MPs, is this a power differential of some bizarre form? Well, joining us now, Captain Mohan Ranganathan and Captain uh, uh, Amit Singh, both of them uh, are air safety experts. Thank you very much for, for being with us. Uh, Captain Amit Singh, let me come to you first. Uh, how could Indigo or why would an airline actually randomly tweet a punishment despite knowing the rules? Why would they do that? Well, certainly, uh, this is not the norm. Uh, the procedure is well laid out. The source well, is just one second. You need to fix that sound of yours. There's some feedback coming. Let me go across to Captain Mohan Ranganathan first. Captain, why would an airline tweet out a punishment of six months despite knowing the rules? Because this is part of the civil aviation requirement. The, any airline would know this in the back of their hand. 
Why would they suddenly just do this without any process? They probably have uh, a score to settle with him. He might have criticized the A-line on one of his shows. And what is important is like the DGC had quoted and the A-line quotes IQ at DOC 9811. And the level one charge is disruptive behavior, which is suspicious or verbally threatening. You know, if you looked at the videos which were being shown on the media, Kunal Kamra was not behaving suspiciously, nor was he verbally threatening. He, his voice was very calm. He just kept talking. And he was not verbally threatening. He was not threatening the passengers. He was not threatening the safety of the aircraft. So whatever was done was absolutely wrong. And for the ministry to take such action and the other airlines following it was absolutely stupid, if you ask me. And you said that knowing the rules. The question is, did they know the rules? Or who were told them that take action? And they've done it probably to please someone. That's about all. It, nowhere in IKO sure. security And let manual. me put that to Captain Amit Singh. Captain Singh, is, that, is this what it's about? Hardeep Puri, the minister, a very strong message yesterday, said that he endorses any action which is taken. Now, to be clear, a, a lot of people, I certainly found the behavior of Kamra to be obnoxious and unacceptable. What we're talking about here is process. But there was no process. Uh, and now the minister has tweeted, I had expressed my views with regard to the unruly behavior of this passenger. I, I reiterate that airlines must ensure zero tolerance. But when they read his tweet yesterday, do you believe that airlines felt the, the, the minister has said, so we must follow, and that's the way it works? Well, what I feel is uh, micromanagement of airlines through social media is uh, unacceptable, which means uh, it has happened before. A few weeks back, one of the Indigo Airlines captain was suspended. There was an altercation with the passenger. Uh, that decides because it's under investigation, but uh, simply based on uh, the Honorable Minister picking up somebody's tweet and uh, nudging or suggesting the airlines to take action. When there is a process, it has to be followed because the process involves certain steps which are also legally bound. These rules emanate from the aircraft rules 1937, rules 22, 23, and 29. 22 deals with uh, acts against the crew. So since there was nothing against the crew, uh, it does not apply. 23 and 29 uh, entail the orderly and good conduct and the conduct on board an aircraft. It could yeah. be by a passenger threatening or intimidating any passenger. Right. So, uh, so this particular incident falls under yeah. this category. Right. And Rule 29 clearly says acts which are likely to impair it. So right now we had uh, three cases or rather three options. Yeah. Number one, so I, I, I just want to go, uh, go back to Captain uh, Mohan Ranganathan for, uh, for more on this. Uh, Captain, there is also a process, right? There is a process which means that a panel has to be formed. They will examine the, this particular issue. On, and the rules also say that other airlines don't have to blindly follow what one airline does. So in the case of exactly. Vistara and AirAsia, they've not done anything. They've said that we aren't doing any such ban. But the other airlines, because I've reached out to them, have said that, look, one airline is banned, so we will ban also. Even though it's almost as if they don't have their own sense of understanding or they have no willingness to understand what the details or the nuance of this case is. See, the process is very clear. First, the captain has to give it in writing. And the letter which the uh, Captain Rohit has given clearly says that he has not found any level one offense by Kamra. So they have taken the action even without getting the captain's report, which is the primary thing on the inquiry. And then they have to conduct an inquiry. And then you have to see when you pass some orders, it has to follow, the committee has to give the report and then act. Just because the minister says jump as the Economic Times editor had written on the editorial, all of them crawl, you know, the other airlines. It is just to please the minister. That is not the way to function. If you, you know, nobody crawls when it comes to safety. 
when it comes to pleasing the minister they are all you know ready with the gun i am very very uh, happy that uh, vistara and air asia did not do it and actually i am very proud of the way that management is function and i must say that the others were very poor and i really admire the captain he has mentioned that he has 9 years of airline flying so he's probably around 35 40 reminds me of the time when i offloaded the civil aviation minister for coming without security you know so we need captains like this who will stand by the rules and be bold enough to take on the management sure. otherwise what will happen is everybody will just crawl because they are worried about their jobs like here i don't know why the other airlines simply just because the minister said they should take action and some journalists even tweeted that why isn't this airline doing or that right. airline i just want to go back I, to captain amit singh again captain singh um, i think the biggest issue over here is different standards for different people so when sadhvi uh, sadhvi pragya the mp uh, said that she wouldn't uh, vacate a particular seat even though she was told she had to because she was a wheelchair passenger she did it ultimately there was no punishment for her a uh, shiv sena mp slapped an air india staffer many many times he got a 14 day ban 14 days and this man kamra gets 6 months right so what does that say that if you are powerful you can get away with anything and if you're not as powerful and on the basis of what a minister says then you know you can get into a, a lot of serious trouble double standards is this what it's about uh, while i agree with you partly uh, the incident about the the slapping of a put staff after which the car was written in detail uh, it entails both the airport and in flight so physical abuse amounts to level 2 and the fir needs to be uh filed with the police whereas uh, 14 days is not enough as per the present car for a level 2 on the other hand for mr kamra 6 months is too early before even forming a committee or taking any action the maximum you can go is 30 days so it is uh, a reaction or kind of uh, to show that uh, yes we are acting on your tweet uh, right. but that didn't go down too well it was a simple procedure of asking the captain what happened asking the crew what happened get the facts then look at the rules it's not very difficult but somebody all right so look at the rules and see what is possible i lots of important issues are raised over here Uh, and i think uh, indigo Vishnu, really needs to come out one more with with a far more Vishnu. detailed statement than they have and obfuscating from questions when journalists oh. ask questions you know that doesn't help anybody these are serious issues in aviation they need to be answered Vishnu, directly there's one more there's one more Vishnu. Oh, yeah that should be another amount of time i got to end right now okay. but thank you both very much mm -hmm. for joining us this evening yeah, we'll I'd keep like tracking the story the out of time at this stage time for the short break